Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. I got my buddy Matt with us from INAP. Hey, Matt, how you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm living the dream every day, brother. So, <laughs> why don't we start at the beginning? Give us a little overview of your company. Sure. So, INAP um, is a high performance infrastructure provider of network, co location, and, and private cloud solutions. We were founded in 1996 and kind of, you know, evolved from a network only company through, uh, you know, then we transitioned the data center world, got into infrastructure as a service, and then, you know, here we are um, in 2020 as a, um, you know, a privately held company, and we're still going strong. So Matt, this is something that people can move their servers off site to you? Yes, that's correct. So we have um, 21 markets where we provide data center services. So we have a global footprint, but we, we really have a, um, a strong focus in, in North America. And locally, we have a data center in Somerville, Mass. So Matt, this is something, you know, in my background, as we, we mentioned, you know, I was being technically CIO of a, of, a, of a bank, and it's something I never thought about moving my servers offsite, like, oh, they got to be here. But all kidding aside, that's kind of silly, because if there's an issue in the bank, and my servers in the bank, that's a big risk. Logical? Yeah, that's logical. That's logical. And we see, you know, uh, what we like to do is sit down with our clients and our prospects and kind of understand where they're coming from, what the requirements are. And, um, you know, there's different stages of, of moving things off site into a third party. So, you know, you, you can still remain, um, you, you know, you could still have management over your equipment and, and own that equipment and just move it into our co-location and, or, you know, you can take it uh, a step further and actually put it into our private cloud solutions and, and, you know, let INAP completely manage everything from the storage, the network through the operating system and just be done with all the management altogether. Um, and then we see, you know, every, everywhere in between, we have companies that leverage the public cloud and they, you know, there's certain workloads and certain companies that have that expertise and they can do that. And then they might need certain workloads to reside in a co-location or a private cloud or on bare metal um, that INAP also offers for different reasons like, um, you know, cost per performance benefits to reduce the overall spend on your infrastructure services or for certain security um, concerns or compliance reasons. So, um, you know, we like to look at ourselves as kind of a, a chessboard and we take your chess pieces and we figure out where, you know, best to put them, whether it's in the public cloud or, or with internet somewhere. So Matt, talk to me about private clouds. I'm not familiar with that. What is that? So private cloud is essentially, you know, uh, what we offer is a fully managed VMware and, or Hyper-V private cloud. Uh, essentially all of the uh, resources are dedicated to the client. Uh, whereas in a shared infrastructure environment like a public cloud, um, you know, your resources, the, the instances are, are on shared hardware. So this comes into play when, you know, we're working with banks and working with um, other highly regulated industries like healthcare, where they need more control and more visibility and um, basically a, a tighter focus on, on security. Makes perfect sense. So Matt, if someone has an interest in these products, how can they reach out to you to learn more? They can, uh, they can reach out to me. So I'm, I'm based here in South Boston. I work out of our Somerville data center. Um, they can reach out to me either, you know, through the networking site or you can hit me up on email mcutler at inap.com um, or my cell phone. 508-367-6677, and we can open up a conversation. Matt, I really appreciate taking a few minutes out of your day to jump on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Well, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it.